Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Steve. It's been a minute since my last video, but today I'm back with a new one and I'm going to be reviewing the iHome model IHM46 dual alarm clock radio. So stay tuned. So this is it right here. This is the iHome um, Moto IHM46 dual alarm clock radio. It also has USB charging and we're going to go over some of the features and uh, things that it comes with. So let's just go right there. We'll start. Uh, this is the box. You can see it's pretty small. Um, I'm not sure of a lot of locations that have it. I bought mine actually in Walgreens. It was about 30 bucks. And before I really get into it, uh, one of the things that I do want to address is the compatibility, uh, things that it's compatible with. And you've got a little uh, thing down here in the bottom which says iPod, iPhone, MP3 players, and smartphones and tablets. That's what it's uh, compatible with. And within the Apple, the iDevice um, uh, category of things, you've got the uh, iPhones and iPads. And I will tell you um, that for I will tell you that it does support um, iPhones and iPads and iPods that have lightning adapters. It's got a on the back of the uh, device itself. There's a small it's a USB plug right here, so you can plug your um, charging cord that came with your device right here, and then it comes around and attaches to the uh, your lightning port so you've got the um, iPhone I believe it's the iPhone 5s that started that first came out with the lightning port from that iPhone on up and then the uh, whichever iPad uh, was the first one with the lightning adapter it actually charges um, these devices and it actually plays the music uh, for them uh, like I said, let's get into the uh, contents here. So, like I said, this is the box. Inside, you've got right here your instruction manual, and then you've got a box for your uh, wall plug. You've got another instruction manual in another language, some warranty information and um, support numbers, and then you've also got And then you've also got your wall plug. That's it. Now it does not come with a USB charging cable. You should already have one of those with your iPhone or iPad. And one of the great things about this device, um, and this is it right here, is pretty, pretty small, but it packs a pretty good uh, punch when it comes to music. And one of the other things about this is that you can use this um, with the wall charging, uh, with the wall, the AC cord. You can use this with the wall plug, but it also runs on batteries. In fact, it comes with a um, a lithium ion battery. It comes with a lithium ion battery, and that's for using in case the power goes out. And if you want to make this thing completely portable, which I've done, you can put four uh, AA batteries right in here in this uh, compartment here. This is also where your lithium ion battery goes. Uh, and I don't want to pull these out right now because they uh, it's already set it's well it's plugged up so it's not gonna hurt anything alright so right here like I said I got four lithium ion or four rechargeable batteries that I'm using to make this thing portable so I can just pull them right out now right here this piece right here that's sticking up this is your holder for your lithium ion battery for the uh, backup battery and it actually like I said it comes with the device so all you do is you pull this out and you've got um, alright this is this is the handle and then this is the battery it goes in just like this and you take Alright, goes in just like this with the plus side up. And you take it and push it right in here. And so you see that piece of that groove is sticking up. That's what helps keep your 
battery uh, when the power goes out and then like I said if you want to make this thing really portable say for instance you want to carry it to work with you you can put you can put four uh, AA batteries in here now the only difference in operation between uh, when this is working on batteries versus wall the uh, wall plug is that right here when you've got it wall plugged up which I do um, you'll see that the, the display is lit maybe a little hard to see because of the light in here but you can see the, the background is blue if I unplug it then it goes dark but you can still see it alright so now to some of the features this does have uh, two alarm clocks and the way this works is you have to long press this alarm one you'll see the uh, I can zoom in here okay you'll see these buttons here right across the bottom these five buttons they are your power button alarm one button volume up and down and you also use that to set the time and then you've got an alarm two button and doing this I guess you may as well just go all the way around the device and I'll show you what it's got um, up top you've also got your snooze button and your dimmer button for the lights on the front you've also got this right here is your speaker on the bottom we've already gone over the battery storage compartment and then we've got the back of the device right here now this doesn't work the only um, one of the biggest well the only drawback that I'm finding to this device is that it doesn't have a lightning uh, charge or a lightning port that you just set it right onto you still have to use your charging cable and that again that goes right here you just plug it in here connect the lightning into your phone and you're all set uh, you also have your auxiliary cord here and which is your this goes right into your three and a half millimeter headphone jack on your uh, eye device and then you've got your time set button and in order to set the time all you have to do is press and hold this time set button turn it back around to the front and press plus or minus and you can you know adjust that until you get your time set for setting alarms what you want to do is you want to make sure I got this here you've got the it comes with the instruction manuals and tells you how to do that and you've got two different alarms so if you have to get up at different times on different days um, you can do that so all you do is you press and hold this alarm button and what's going to happen is it's going to beep and the preset or default time is going to start flashing and you just adjust it using these plus or minus buttons here and then once you get it set you press the alarm one button and then the same thing for alarm two you pre long press it for two seconds and it'll beep and start flashing I'll show you an example real quick so we'll just press two so you see it's already set now that's the time I have it set for and it's already um, got the alarm two um, indicator on there if I'm good with it already once you set the time that you want on there you just press it one time and it'll beep twice to let you know that that alarm is set now to turn it off you just press it that may have been a little confusing what I just did so I'll walk through it one more time alright to set the alarm 2 button you'll see that the time and the alarm is already set. All I did was press the alarm 2 button. Press it. It displays it. Long press it. And now it's set. You see the alarm 2 indicator is set. Now I come along later on and I decide I don't want that alarm. All I do is press it twice. I press it the first time to verify that that's the alarm and the time that I want to shut off. I press it again it beeps and it lets me know that it, that alarm is removed and you're good to go now this has one of two feet one of two ways it can wake you up the way this is set up right now if an alarm was to go off 
it has a gradual um, beeping alarm that gets louder and louder um, and that's fine it does get loud enough to actually wake you up but it's not so it doesn't start out so loud that it you know startles you out of sleep that's one way you can use it or you can use it hooked up to your device um, your iPhone or iPad or um, iPod and it'll play uh, if you've got an alarm set on your phone it'll play the music um, through this device and I'll like I said I'll show you really quick um, how loud this thing actually gets it's not uh, just an alarm you can actually use it to play music through and so what we want to do is press this power button you see it displays that it's on now and it also has auxiliary so it's actually drawing um, any music that we're going to play is going to be drawing it from my iPhone I've got um, it hooked up to my iPhone 6 Plus so I'm going right into my music here and let's find something I think it would help if I plug the headphone jack up. Alright. And you can see now I accidentally pressed the dimmer button, but that's fine because it actually made the display that much brighter, which helps at night if you're sleeping. Alright, so all you do is plug that. So all you do is plug that headphone jack that's on the back of the device into your phone. Alright, now that was it pretty much maxed out as volume goes up to 32. And it gets pretty loud. Um, doesn't matter what type of room you're in, that's loud enough. The volume is loud enough to wake you up. Um, if you're, you know, maybe in your office listening to some music, it'll get pretty loud, so you probably don't want to play it that loud at work. Or if you're doing stuff at home, um, you can use it that way. And it get, it's loud enough, you can take it. Um, if it's running on batteries, you can take it from room to room as you're doing whatever you're doing throughout your day. And so that's it. That's the iHome Model IHM46 Dual Alarm USB Charging Radio. So if you guys have any questions, any comments, leave that down in the comment section below. Um, if you have any other iHome devices, um, let me know about those too. And I'll see about getting some of those and doing reviews on those. And again, thanks for watching and have a great day. Peace.